There's pain in the mouth, red spots, swelling, difficulty eating, and we often ignore it. But what if I told you this small discomfort might be stomatitis, a condition every nurse must be prepared to handle? Stomatitis is simply the inflammation of the mucus lining of the mouth. It can affect the cheeks, gums, tongue, lips, and even the roof of the mouth. Sounds simple, right? But the causes can range from viral infections to nutritional deficiencies, from poor oral hygiene to even chemotherapy side effects. In hospitals, especially among cancer and immunocompromised patients, stomatitis is more common than you think, and often it's the first sign of a deeper issue. So let's dig deeper and understand how it actually looks, feels, and how we as nurses can deal with it. Now imagine this, a patient complains of burning pain in the mouth, can't eat spicy food, and you see ulcers, redness, or even white patches. That's classic stomatitis. But why does this happen? The inflammation causes mucosal breakdown, making the area sore and sensitive. You might also observe excessive drooling, bad breath, and in kids, refusal to eat. Some cases come with fever if infection is involved. In herpetic stomatitis, there are fluid-filled blisters that rupture and form painful ulcers. And here's the kicker. If you catch this early, you can prevent it from becoming severely disabling. Recognizing the symptoms with a trained eye can save your patient a lot of pain and yourself a lot of complications. Let's simplify the pathophysiology. Step one, a trigger occurs. This could be trauma, infection, chemical irritation, or even autoimmune reaction. Step two, that trigger leads to activation of the immune system. The immune cells rush in, releasing inflammatory mediators like histamines and cytokines. Step three, these mediators cause vasodilation and increased permeability, leading to redness, swelling, and pain in the mouth tissues. Step four, the damaged tissue becomes susceptible to secondary infections like candida or HSV. Finally, if untreated, the tissue may ulcerate and in chronic cases even lead to necrosis or scarring. It's a domino effect, and the earlier we stop the first tile, the better the outcome. Treating stomatitis starts with identifying the cause. If it's viral, doctors prescribe antivirals like acyclovir. If it's fungal, antifungal mouthwashes like Nystatin come into play. Bacterial, then antibiotics may be required. But in all cases, pain management is key, so topical anesthetics like lidocaine gels are given to ease discomfort. Patients are advised to avoid spicy, acidic, or hot foods. In chemo-induced stomatitis, ice chips and palifermin, a keratinocyte growth factor, are sometimes used to protect mucosal linings. Good oral hygiene and mouth rinses with salt water or antiseptic solutions are basic yet powerful tools in management. And don't forget, hydration is critical. As nurses, we're not just treating a mouth sore, we're caring for the whole patient. First, assess the oral cavity regularly, especially in high-risk patients like those on chemo or steroids. Second, maintain meticulous oral hygiene, use soft bristled toothbrushes, and avoid alcohol-based mouthwashes. Third, ensure the patient is getting nutritional support, offer bland, soft foods, and monitor intake. Fourth, educate the patient, teach them about avoiding irritants, staying hydrated, and reporting any new symptoms early. Lastly, provide emotional support. Stomatitis can affect speech, eating, and self-esteem. A calm, caring nurse can truly make healing easier and pain more bearable.